Hey y'all, Nani here. Welcome back to my channel. You can call me Nani. Look, I've got in my witch hat. You can't really, you know. I used to have a bunch of costumes. Um, Cause when I had a job, uh, we had a really cool thing every year called um, Customer Service Week. And every single day we got to dress up and it was super fun plus we got a lot of snacks um, but today hold on a second because there's a fan I feel like it's gonna be oh I almost knocked my coffee over I feel like it's gonna be way too loud and those evil purple eyes you see right there are actually um, grow lights I have for my plant babies and I have some new cuttings and I'm gonna pop those and when I do that, I'll bring you with me. But hold on, I gotta fix this fan. Isn't life grand when you have a chronic illness? Just moving that fan um, ripped up my shoulder muscles, so you know. Okay, anyway, hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm uh, ooh, I have a ring light. I do have the oh, there's lots going on here. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. We'll just tuck those back here. Okay, anyway. Um, so you're going to be seeing a lot of this because uh, I have to have glasses to see. Um, but what I wanted to do today was to show you all of my Halloween decorations since I can't put them up uh, because um, they weren't taken out of storage early enough. And then I fell, you know, and jacked up my ankle. So there's no walking around and decorating when you have an ankle injury even with a walker and I'm the only one that can do it because I'm the one that makes it the cutest so <laughs> yeah anyway um I do plan on putting a few up uh for whenever I have hippo and then of course I plan on doing it up big during Christmas because I'm going to start in November and hopefully the entire month of November will give me the time to do it right because uh, Christmas it's you know how most people do like all their really cool decorations on the outside so people drive by it's it's like that but in here like nobody drives by our trailer you know what I mean um, and uh, I mean, we put lights up and stuff, but it's not, we don't go crazy. Okay, so the first thing is, um, I got these last year on sale, and I want to try these out. But these are Edison lights, and they're, like, I guess purple. Um, purple. So, I want to try this out, because, of course, purple green orange and black are official Halloween colors so I thought I'd put these up somewhere um, this is a pillow no we don't need to say this is not Halloweeny um, oops sorry okay this is something I made all by myself when I used to do something called felting and some of you may already know about it um, it was a super fun hobby for me, but because, sorry, because of my um, hands hurting a lot, uh, and it involves a lot of this, where you're, I'll just show you an example first before I show you this, where you're taking a needle and you're just doing this, and you're poking the fibers into themselves to make shapes and stuff. 
So I will show you what I made with this one. Hopefully you will know what it is. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, just making sure it, he looks his best. But, wow. Can you guys see that is? It's Pennywise! Um, Stephen King is my favorite author. It is one of my favorite books. The uh, first it was great and the second it was great. So I'm happy with both of the movies. But I even, like even the eyes are felted. And I managed to make them kind of bloodshot. See? So I'm really proud of this one. And it's all just made with this. Um, it's called felt like just look up if you want to do it if you want to try it um, uh, get you got Michaels Joanne's Hobby Lobby honestly I don't know if Joanne's is gonna have it um, anyway this is uh, I made this a few years ago this was back in my crafting days so I love him um, I was gonna make the whole body but it didn't work out uh, but I figured what I could do if I had a job and wanted to wear something Halloween to work, I could get uh, like a pin thing, like a safety pin thing, you know, where you pin things to your clothes. And I thought that would be like a cute little, like if I were to wear, wear this all black thing and then wore him like as a corsage, but it's him. I think that would be cute. So anyway, there's Pennywise. Um, and then I got these at Target last year. I love Target's Halloween decorations. They're so cute. It's like a uh, eggplant color, uh, velvet kind of pumpkin. But this is one of the ones that will be going up. Because these are easy. You just stick them somewhere and that's it. Um, I have another one here that is nice and glittery purple and like it's got like fishnet around it so also cool um I don't know why I have that dollar store isn't that cute I think what I did like at work I I'm still bitter y'all okay uh, I think I used this to put like all my pins in and stuff like that. I'm not better at the company. They did what they had to do. I'm better because I loved it and I didn't want to leave. So, hold on. I think I need to like, there's no way to like, okay, let me just, hold on. Oh, sorry. I think I was sitting on too many pillows, but I have to sit on something because as big as my rump is, it's still going to be uncomfortable. Okay, hold on. Sorry. <sighs> Everything is a pain in the ass. When you have small fiber neuropathy. You know what I mean? Okay. So next, this is like an unboxing, right? But of stuff I didn't recently buy. Um, this actually was attached, and I guess he's in storage, but last year they had a Yoda doll that was holding this, um, and my husband loves Star Wars, so, um, we wanted to have it just up all the time at work. Um, so I, when Halloween was over, I took this off because I figured we can put it back in his arms, um if we wanted to or use it for something else, which I'm sure I can find a use for this, so. Um, oh, okay, this is another thing that I made for um, Halloween that I felted. This might also be my favorite because I made it and I, I think it's, I think it's really good. It's like, kind of kooky looking but there's only one in the entire world I'm assuming that looks like this and that's why I love it so much 
So hold on a minute. Let me get all of his little legs going the right way. Okay. I'm so excited. Hold on. Oh, his legs aren't doing the right thing on the other side. Okay, are you ready? How cute is this? He's got his little teeth. And look, he's got eight eyes. Spiders have eight eyes, not ten, right? Eight eyes and eight legs is what he got. So, and I like it because the the felting stuff makes him kind of look hairy you know Ugh. Ugh. so creepy but so cute I named him but of course I don't remember what I named him but I like what I did with all the eyes with different uh, colors three different colors so I'm really proud of this one too um, not definitely couldn't be worn as like a brooch because that would just look weird but maybe like as like a companion sitting on your shoulder or something like that you could pin him there or whatever or stick him on a hat maybe on your witch's hat like this he's very light because he's literally just that material like the foamy stuff that you know everybody has at Christmas for snow it's like that but different colors so anyway you could glue him or velcro him to a hat or whatever you wanted to do with him but I always put him up as a decoration okay so whoop, what, that, what was that noise okay so we have a lot of like we have you know all orange Christmas lights um, a little candle dude um, that I like this I made it it's um did I paint this I don't think did I paint it I think I may have painted it I don't know but it's an all-black base um I mean this is just that like hay stuff I would probably do something different with this crafty wise like a big beautiful purple bow or something like that and then put dead flowers in it um, these came in a trio hold on at Target I've got a brown one outside that I need to bring in because I love the fall colors and I have a red one somewhere that I think I saved for um, Christmas because it was red and it, it's a little dusty so forgive me but these are little candles they're like little mason jars I don't know if you can see that because they're ring light but kitties no both my cats are in here watching me and they're they get very jealous I don't know what this is just like a leafy pattern on here but this is kind of like a mason jar lid and then inside is the place where the the candle goes the little votive no we're not gonna be mean to each other no, we're not. Okay, sorry. Anyway, I also thought that might be a cute little planter, but I would have to have my husband drill a hole for drainage. But we did just get some drill bits that cut through glass, so maybe. Um, let's see. Then I have a whole bag full of the cutest pumpkins on earth. Um, oh. Oh. See, this is what it looks like if you take the mason jar lid off so that means I'm missing one and I don't know where it is um, but first let me show you all the pumpkins so this one uh, is glass and it's beautiful and I love it because I can use it for um, Thanksgiving of course I'll only be Thanksgiving decorated for a couple weeks good thing about Halloween and Thanksgiving being so close to each other is they're both pumpkin-y so any of your pumpkins that don't look like jack-o-lanterns or aren't very purple uh, you can leave out um, like this one I can leave this one out not cute covered in gold I didn't make this 
I bought it. I think it was at Target. Or Tom Thumb. I'm not sure. It was a while ago. Um, I, lo I love like really whimsical things, which I'll get, I'll get to those. Let me get to the more kind of plain stuff first. Hold on. Sitting up straight is better for my whole body. And my whole body is starting to betray me already. See, I'm, fi I'm 15 minutes in and my back is already causing me intense pain. It's the, um, the back where my bra strap is. And I don't know why it is, but whenever I am trying to do dishes or stuff like this, um, which is another reason I had to stop crafting because I would usually sit on the floor, you know, lay out like a big blanket and because of glitter, I love glitter and it goes everywhere. And I had to stop doing that because I don't know why, but it would trigger um, costochondritis, which uh, if you look it up, it's, I know I've talked about it before, it's extremely painful and it can feel like you're having a heart attack. So, yay. So I guess we better get to it in case I have to stop. But I have so many Halloween decorations that I'm probably gonna have to do this in at least two parts anyway. Um, okay, so let's get to my regular pumpkins. Some of them have a lot of fuzz on them from being stored with fuzzy things, but isn't that pretty? I love glitter and I love the way this ring light makes everything so glittery. Okay. Um, more. I like having different sizes. So I think last year I put like these two together. Um, and you just put them in little nooks and crannies, like on bookcases or whatnot. Maybe next year I will decorate, because I'd love to show you what, I, I really get into some cute stuff. I have to say, I'm gonna toot my own horn. I am a great decorator, a uh, holiday decorator, but also regular, like if I had the money, shit, you know. Um, we have a green pumpkin also green and beautiful and um, crackly. It's got like those crackles, which is also pretty. And then we have this beautiful orange pumpkin. Ooh, she's got some boo-boos. Oh, those are polka dot. I don't know, but we'll put her, we'll make sure she is maybe presented like this so we don't see her flaws, but pretty, pretty. Um, and I always put like the black uh, or the purple, the dark ones, you know, the ones that are supposed to be scary or whatever. I always put those, like I would put, if I was gonna decorate, I would put like these two closer together and it'd have like another one in between this and this size. Which we may find in here. Um, let's see. I've got one more like what I would call a November pumpkin okay two more okay so these I think are the last of my normal pumpkins but I really thought this one was so pretty look at that and it's got it just looks um, worn out you know what I mean like um, antiqued or uh, distressed, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and then this. Oh. I don't know. The ring light's too bright. Um, this is like a custardy color. Uh, ooh, if I pull it back, you can see it better. It's like a custardy color. It's got a little bit of glitter in it, nothing crazy, and it's got a lot of crackles on it. So this is this would be another one I could save for November, which so that's the cool thing. Like if you put all these up for October, it's fine, um, and then when you put all your Halloween stuff away, you still have decorations for fall and 
for November, you don't have to do too much. Okay, these are my whimsical pumpkins. So I'm gonna start with the baby ones first. Okay, I mean, I love polka dots. I love polka dots. I would love to do a, um, a thumbnail because all of my thumbnails are ridiculous. Um, but I don't know how to do that because I only ever get three choices when I go to my YouTube studio. But again, I'm not using my computer, I'm using my phone, so. And I don't, I don't know if I have a pumpkin big enough to do a thumbnail with anyway. Like, what about this one? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Everybody always does that. Why does everybody always do that with their mouth open? Halloween. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I love this one. It's whimsical. I love the swirls. It reminds me a little bit of Nightmare Before Christmas, like something you'd see there, you know? So I love the swirl. Swirls, polka dots, stripes. Isn't this cool? And this is just like, I think it's that like a uh, hard foam kind of stuff. Hold on. Ooh. I have to change my position every few minutes and that helps a little bit. And then the stem is black and glittery. Oh, where is this one from? It does not say. But I paid three bucks for it, so that's not bad. And I didn't buy these all in one year. I've just been collecting them. Thank God we have a storage unit, which, oh no, this one broke. I don't know what this one, this one, what? Oh, well his stem broke. And he has a face, and he used to have like a little light, but we don't have that anymore. So I would hopefully find his stem lying around somewhere and just uh, use him as a fall decoration. I'm not sure why I'm assigning gender to my items, but that's just how I roll. I can't, I can't help it. Uh, this is a votive holder, cute, cute, cute. And then when uh, Halloween's over, flip it. And then you have uh, maybe something, you can fill it with like Halloween little miniatures or something, like a little miniature candy dish. Um, I have a purple one. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? So glittery. These were at the dollar store. I think all of these super little glittery ones I got at the dollar store. Look at dollar store's great for Halloween stuff. Well, it's the Dollar Tree. Um, ooh, look how cute that is. Isn't that cute? Okay. Moving on. Um, we have a we have a black glittery one. Very cool. I think it also has a cat hair on it. So that's great. Thank you, Oliver. I know this is not Popo's because Popo is a black cat. Okay. Oh, Lord. Why? Sorry. Oh, no. What? Sorry, this um, ring light is bringing attention to very, very dry skin, which um, I don't normally have it like this bad. Like my skin is peeling, you know? I don't know, anyway. This isn't that kind of video, so we will move. We shall proceed. Okay, so then I've got this one. How cute is that? I love it, and the little stem is is uh, glittery too. I have a pile of pumpkins. 
uh, purple. Kind of almost pinky too, which is fine. Gorgeous. Dollar store. Thank you. Oh, this is also one of my favorites. More polka dots. Little glittery polka dots. Cute. Okay. So that's all my pumpkins. And I have a bag of like fall type sequins. I'm sure I had plans for that at one point, but you know. Life has changed. Um ew, that's creepy. Okay, hold on. Oh look. Okay. I found the stem belonging to the other pumpkin. This, this, yeah. So there we go. So now we have a fall pumpkin. Okay. So I'll put all these back later. Whoops. Do I want to know what that is? I, I mean, do I? I don't know. Oh, I thought this was really cool. So. Um, I never got a chance to use it, did I? Maybe I did. But it's it's like the white stuff, you know, that you stick the spiders in to make cobwebs, but it's like a khaki material, so it kind of just makes it look dirty and grimy and gringy, you know? Like the cobwebs have been there for a long time. I know I did something with that at some point. Um, I don't entirely know what... Um, I don't remember this at all. Like, I don't remember. Why do I have it? I don't know. And he's just covered in fuzzies. Um, I don't know if, I don't know. I don't remember this guy at all. I mean, he's not even that scary. He's clear and glittery. See? Oh. Nope. Yes. See? Okay, it's enough of that. Look, look, Oliver, what do you think? Huh? You like it? He doesn't care. All right. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, I got these. I had these at work. When I had candy and stuff like that, I like to keep candy at my desk. Um, I also got these at the dollar store, which how cute. It's like a dish, like a little candy dish to put things in. So I thought that was super cute. And then, oh, this is also so cute. Oh my gosh. It's an acorn. How cute is this? See the little, like, Hatch marks. It's a little acorn. So cute. Okay. Um, oh, I have a happy, happy Halloween sign that I never used that I paid $5 for. So that's great. Unless I went after and got it on sale. Happy Halloween. I think it's one of those like window deals where you can stick it on there. I'm not sure. Or, yeah, yeah, so maybe I'll stick it on a wall somewhere. Um, okay, so just take that out, just take it out. I'm not sure. Oh, like the okay, so this is something I might say wrap around this as a bow, maybe at the top of the stem or something like that. Um, you know, purple that might complement it, um, or maybe something a little bit darker, but. God, some of this stuff I forgot I had, like, ooh. Oh, this is a Target. I can I can tell by looking at it. This is a Target. It's tar like, you know, whoop, hi. You know when you go to Target and they have those little bins in the front? It's kind of like visiting the dollar store, but Everything's like three to five dollars. I got this there. It says boo. I'm not sure if it's flip flopped or not. You know what I mean? So it says boo. 
boo and the other uh, wooden blocks so you would just you know sit it somewhere like I might put this in front of my TV on the entertainment center something like that but it's got these cute little you know so very cute this is something you could craft for yourself but I mean for three bucks honestly I think I'd pay less then crafting is expensive y'all crafting is is not cheap um okay hold on Ooh. okay so let's see what else is in this box i think i have like four boxes um this was all white and i just painted it black I also got this at the dollar store. It's got little, oh, hi. It's got little skulls. Does that help? It's got little skulls on it. It's like a, oh, look, there you go. It's like a gazebo for the dead or the undead. And the top is another skull. So. Um, I have like hay. I used a lot of this for my November stuff. Leaves. Like, you know, I got these at um, Dollar Store. And so you just kind of throw leaves around everywhere. You know. We don't actually get these in Texas. Beautiful orange and red leaves. We don't get these. It, it literally just... We get leaves that are crunchy and brown, okay? The trees don't change color. Um, the leaves just die and fall off. And then we have crunchy leaves blowing everywhere, which is fine, because for me, that's what I grew up with, that's fall. But would I love to live somewhere that has trees like this that give you seasons yeah I sure do though I don't really want to deal with like winter seasons if I that's when if I was rich then I would have a summer and winter home darling but I'm not rich um I don't know what this is why is it black it's a stethoscope but it's black is it for an evil doctor I don't know. I don't remember having this, so. But it was probably for one of those client services weeks at my work. Um, oh, this is cute. It's like a spider, but it's jingle belly. They're made out of jingle bells, black jingle bells. I did not make this. I think this was another um, dollar store find, but that's cute for a dollar. Um, this is just a little orange, uh, candle. Again, this Target, three bucks. I bought it a few years ago and it's still not burnt down. So that's good. I love to light a lot of candles in the fall and winter. Cause I mean, isn't candlelight the best? Like, ugh. And then Christmas lights. Oh my God. I put, we put a lot of Christmas lights in our room and it's just so something so comforting oh my god are we getting to my favorite part <gasps> wait what what is this okay i can't show you this yet because i am saving uh, my favorite decorations for when i can show them to you all at once like i did with my pumpkins so and let me just make sure that is a fake spider <laughs> And I've got like orange, uh, whatever that kind of bow is. Um, and nice Peter. <laughs> okay. So, um, just very quickly bear with me while I put these away. Um, what can we talk about while I'm putting these decorations away? What have I been watching on TV? Oh, um, 
what is the name of that series? The Hellstroms? I've started watching the series The Hellstroms on Hulu. Um, it is about a, uh, I, I don't know if they're, I don't think, I don't think they're twins. I'm really not sure, but it's a brother and sister, um, who starting out, they're estranged, like starting out in the show, they're estranged from each other, sadly. Um, but let's put all the no November ones together. Um, but they have like these special powers, um, and every, no, and everything's very, um, like God and demony related. Like maybe like a very dramatic Lucifer, you know what I mean? Um, apparent. Okay. Okay. All right. Their dad was a serial killer and he would take his daughter um, out with him on kills and have her lure the victims in. And one of the, his victims, uh, trigger warning, it, it, this is yuck um, and awful and uh, I almost had a heart attack. Okay. Whoo. And in this case, um, did not, this is not true crime. This didn't, this didn't happen to a real person this was a character but um if you don't want to hear about how he killed her leave the room and one two three uh he set her on fire and his daughter um witnessed this and he would then collect like jewelry and give it to his daughter and you know in the beginning i guess when he was taking her out on his runs he would like she would just stay in the car he wouldn't like involve her too much but he would give her like a necklace or a bracelet and this one time she came home wearing this bracelet and the mom knew like exactly where it came from um, I'm not sure how she knew but she knew and um, she tried to rip it off of her daughter's arm and went hysterical and of course her her daughter was like oh my mom's a bitch and she's crazy and my dad loves me he gives me jewelry you know like any kid would think um so their mom and i'm not sure when this happened apparently like their dad was a demon or there was a demon in their dad that made him kill i am honestly not sure I've only gotten through, I think, like, eight episodes. Um, uh, and their mom was possessed with, I mean, I, I don't know if this is a demon or, like, a bad spirit. I think she said her name was Carathe or something like that. But she possessed their mom. And this is when they were little kids. And it kind of switches back and forth. Like, it, you know, it shows them flashbacks of when they were kids. And, of course, I don't remember their friggin' names. Um, I know it's called the Hellstrom. So, I, but I honestly, I can't remember their names for the life of me. I'm so sorry. Um, but uh, the brother was taken in by, uh, they live in a, I don't know if it's like Boston or, New York, but it's very northern state because it's cold. Maybe it's Oregon. Oregon? So I don't think I've seen any snow. I don't know. But it's a cooler place because sister went off to I think it was California or Miami. Oh my god. I'm the worst. I have absolutely no business talking about shows. You know what I mean? Because I can't remember shit. But, I, you know, I'm doing my best. So, um, anyway. The mom is in a um, asylum that is run by, I guess, the head doctor there. Can't remember her name either. But she's a lovely lady who raised the brother. And I don't know why she didn't raise the sister. Except, I think, because they have these powers when they're close together um 
their powers are stronger and that's a bad thing somehow or I don't know if it calls demons or I don't know what it does um, but anyway the the mom starts going even more um, bat shit than she already was um, you know and she's a demon possessing her so I get it and of course her husband was a serial killer who, you know, abused, I mean, because that's abuse, abused her children, abused her. So she didn't have a great life, but uh, everything she did was in protection of her children. Um, so anyway, she wears the lid to the bin. Hello, lid, lid. Okay, well, it's not here. So, let's push you out of the way. We're, oh, huh. Okay, hold on. Hold on, guys. Listen, I don't have time for your bullshit. I really don't. It's not getting out of my way. Okay, now... I have a bin that is, I don't know, three feet long. It's huge. And it's orange for Halloween. Okay. Um, good. Now I can go back to showing you the decorations because I still can't remember that movie very much. Oh, these are some costumes. Okay. So... All right, so I have this, which is this cute little, well, I got this, like, black netting. So you can drape this over, like, lamps or hang it on the wall, you know, whatever. Wrap it around you. Make your clothes look old and sad, you know, whatever. I can't get over the thing. You know, use it to spookify yourself more. Like, ooh, I've got black netting around me. <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> I don't know. But it does give the, the look. So, sorry that... I'm so sorry about the ring light, guys, in my face. But I really wanted you to be able to see this. Um, so, anyway... Okay, cute, this cute little ghosty garland. It's black. Whoop. It's black, and then it's got these little ghosts in it. I got this at the Dollar Tree. That's crazy. Okay. Uh-oh, I forgot to put some of these decorations up. Oh, my, my butt is killing me right now. Hold on. Okay. Uh, listen, mister. He's so sassy. Um. Okay. Got these gummy candy body parts. Ooh. I never opened this. I just thought it was cute. Um. But I would probably, I think I plan to take these out and put them in a bowl, but um, obviously I never got around to it. Okay, so let's see. This bin is packed. Oh, please don't die. This bin is packed pretty tight. Oh, her eyes are opening. Okay, that's not scary at all. I'm not sure where I got this little lovely lady, but she's definitely going up for decoration. How cute is she? She's green. Alphaba from Wicked. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then like the top part of her 
is plastic. This is cute. I don't remember where I got her, but you're, sti you're sticking with me, girl. Yeah, I like you a lot. Okay. Um, cute little Halloween basket. I will leave this out. Um, it says trick or treat. Because again, I love lines. I don't know if you guys can read that or if it's backwards, but it's got like a little felt banner on it that says trick or treat. It is cloth, black and white striped. Um, I believe I got this at, um, there's no telling, could be Dollar Tree or Target. Um, look at this. Where did I get this? It's hard to tell. I guess I never even used this, or maybe I did. Um, because sometimes I'll just take things like vases or bowls or whatever and fill them with gar garland and just kind of pop them around so they, you know, it looks like it's spilling out, you know, but even that's just kind of cute, just doing that. Um, so I never undid these. It's still got its little holder thing or whatever. Um, but it's just cute little orange garland with pumpkins and I feel like yeah this is wiry like it's got a wire in there so you can kind of shape it more so that's cool oh I got two of them yay okay so I think that's definitely the dollar store too because usually um, they're shorter but um, ow. sorry they're shorter, but, uh, they can, um, there goes that word recall again. They're shorter, like the, the length, they're shorter, but I mean, they're a buck. So okay, that's what I meant to say. Oliver is now getting into the garland. So it should be fun. Um, hmm. let me see what this is real quick. What is this? Eh. Oh, sorry. I thought that was a, oh, I'll put him next to my little witch. Perhaps they can get married. Where's my little witch? Okay, here she is. But look who this is. Another one of my favorite authors. That's right. I don't want it to be too bright. There he is. Look at that. Edgar Allan Poe. See, what do you think? Or she could be his daughter. Because she's a baby. See her baby face? So, she can be his daughter. I know he never really had children, but, you know, she's adopted. So, anyway, we have that. Oh, these are so cute. Little, my girl, I got these from my girlfriend. Um, but it's a little, <laughs> sorry. It's a pumpkin, uh, little ducky. Nope, he doesn't squeak. Oh, not really. A pumpkin rubber ducky and kitty cat rubber ducky. Isn't that cute? How cute! And oh, let me dust her out here. I don't have anything to dust her out with. Okay. Okay. This I think was a Target find. Yeah, this is a Target find. Three to three bucks. Okay. Little ghosties all over it. I mean, oh, it's so cute. And then it says, inside here, it says, boo, to you. So another little thing you could sit next to your door or whatever all, the whole season and have little candies in. Um, or eat your cereal. You know. Itchy. Okay. Okay. Um... 
Oh, this is one of my absolute favorite things. I'm not sure. I, this I got at Target, not in the $3 bin. Um, and it is, it is a working, it does work. <gasps> Did you get scratched? No, I guess that's the whole point, but. I like the way it looked before the scratch. Shoot, damn it. Hold on. trying to make it as shiny and you know dust free as I can because this is one of my most favorite things but it does um, work like an and like an actual clock we don't we've not why why is my hand sticky hold on does shit like that drive you crazy like for absolutely no reason at all your hands are sticky Nothing I've touched is sticky. Um, never occurred to me this could be a neurological thing. Like, you know, like maybe my hands aren't really sticky. Um, like when I feel cold water running down my leg uh, or something biting me, uh, like a wasp. But it's not really happening, you know? I wonder if my hands are really even sticky. That's unusual. I'll have to put some more thought into that one. But not right now. Okay. So this reminds me of like a, a Dali. Like, Sal, is it Salvador Dali? Uh, he's a famous artist that did really... Sorry. There's like a... I have nothing. Why? Hold on. I think there's a cat hair on you. Okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, you just put this on a shelf. Like anything, any, any kind of shelf, just anything that has an edge, right? And, um, and then it just hangs there like it's melting off. Is that not, I mean, come on. That's so cool. Wonder what happens if I turn the light off. No, that's grainy. Uh. Ooh, hi. Okay. Ooh, what if we? We could make it dimmer. Okay. Anyway, so that's my Salvador Dali clock and it, it does work but of course I never turn it on um, I think I got these pillows at the dollar store which I thought or no no these were at Target but they were pretty cheap and I mean how cute is this and it's just a simple pillow throw it on a bed you stick it in a corner and you have a, a Halloween decoration and again, I don't put Halloween decorations on the outside except for maybe lights and like, you know, scarecrows and stuff um, and real pumpkins. But most of the magic happens in here. Oh, okay. I know what this is. Hold on. Okay. So, first of all, I'm not sure where I got this, but this is like, it's a tablecloth. But I also used it to wrap some of my more delicate uh, decorations in. But then uh, you can like fold it up or um, I think last year like I put it on my like I have a coffee station in my bedroom sitting on top of the dresser so I just kind of doubled this up and laid it out flat on there and that added just very quickly uh just a cute again whimsical kind of halloween thing okay so um i have glass things in here so okay i think i have one more of these but i'm not sure where it it is if I find it I'll show you but um, for now so with these you put them somewhere but you um, 
I would use either orange or purple, really. Maybe orange lights. Um, or, or purple, doesn't matter, or green. Um, but I made these. I went to a, um, like a Salvation Army thrift store or whatnot, and I found these for like, I don't know, 30 cents or something like that, and I spray painted them black. I didn't do a super great job because they're strips, um, but you know, again, with Halloween stuff, how perfect does it have to look? You know what I mean? But they're different. Um, these are big. I didn't, I didn't fix this one's bow. But I just took, this is a black and white. A purple and green would have been cool, or an orange and black, or whatever. Um, and then I put a little spider in the middle. But these I would put next to each other on like a credenza or something like that. And then like have like my purple. See they're different uh, heights. See? Aren't they cute? Huge. I feel like I have a smaller one. Maybe I don't. But anyway, you put these down. Um, put some of your purple... Uh, little glittery pumpkins next to it with um, maybe some garland and some lights or whatever very cool because the lights will play against the glass and all that so that's very cool I'm gonna wrap these up real quick because I do not want them to get damaged and I will not be putting them up this year You know, for the longest time, when my kids were little, um, I didn't do a whole lot of decorating because they, they would either knock it down and it would break and I, you know, they could be exposed to like, you know, glass on their feet or whatever. Because no matter how hard you sweep, when you break a glass, at least a sliver ends up, inevitably ends up in someone's foot. No matter if you vacuum, it doesn't matter. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this one. Okay. So there's that. Oh, oh, this is one of my favorites too. So I got this. at Hobby Lobby, and I know they're problematic, please don't come for me. Um, where I am, I just don't have a lot of choices, and your girl needed a craft, you know, back in the day. Um, this was when I was going through the beginning of not know knowing something was wrong with me, but not knowing what, and one thing that brought me a lot of joy during, it was an entire year, uh, was crafting and I did it any way that I could and I call that self-care so um, anyway so I made this so you know how you can get like uh, see that it's like a cardboard like a real thick cardboard but it's plain right and so they have these at um, Hobby Lobby and maybe your craft store too um, I feel like it need, I should have made like in the middle here, um, like a little wreath, glittery wreath or something, uh, right here, like purple. Like, I feel like it's missing something, but I don't know what. I do put purple lights on the inside, but I, I still feel like. Here and here is like I would do some sort of uh, of like decoupage uh, paper or something cute like that, but it's supposed to be a haunted house. I don't think I made this dingy enough. I think that might be the problem. Like it's just not. It should be distressed like this. So these are popsicle sticks um, that I broke in different pieces to meet 
um, it's not the best thing in the world, but um, I used different colors of gray along with some white to give it the distressed wood look. See this, the sides aren't, and then like the roof, I messed up the roof, like, I don't, <laughs> the roof, like, I think, what I, okay, I wanted to make some shingles, but mama was getting tired after, um, this and I I was starting to which is why I had to go with this I took the bigger um, like these are popsicle sticks I got tongue depress depressors and I broke them as well as I could into like scallops um, you know the rounded parts at the end I used those and I um, had glued some here to look like shingles but I messed up and when I pulled it off, it pulled the layer of paint. So then I just did this with like um, hot glue. So you just take hot glue and you put it, hi, you can't see this, can you? You take hot glue and you just put it across here. See, and then I painted it. Just different shades of brown and gray, white, just to show, um, whatever you call it, to, look at the bag, that's great, um, not a bad job on the back paint though, but, um, just to, I don't know where I was going with that, so anyway, but it opens up, and that's how you get the lights in, and, uh, or whatever, I wanted to, maybe get some dollhouse stuff and like craft that uh, so when you look inside there's like a little scene but so I would say this is a work in progress I guess I could add new things each year maybe that would be something fun to do with hippo like add one craft a year to this I also made this fence which and I have green moss which I would use for the grass and um, this picket fence. I mean, if I put it right here, like it's going to be in front of the door, that just does not look realistic. I guess I could have glued them across here. I'm not sure why I didn't do that. Right? Like that doesn't look too bad, does it? If I just glued it. You know, I think I could do that. Last time I think I just set it on the table in front of it, but I think it might look better glued. Anyway, so that might be a fun fun thing to do, a fun project to add little pieces to it here and there with Hippo. So, uh, uh, I will give that a whatever the word is that I'm trying to think of right now that I can't. Consideration? I'll give that consideration. Consideration. Oh my God, the things, this is getting stuck everywhere. So enough with the cute. Bye-bye. I think what I'm gonna do is, oh gosh, make a little basket of, damn it, stuff I wanna keep out. while I'm doing this. And somehow the kitty rubber ducky has lost his way. I don't know, he's gone. So, I don't know, okay. Moving on. Oh yes, this is another one of my faves. So using, um, using, I bet the batteries don't work, um, stuff I got at the dollar store, I made this, which I thought was real cute, yeah, the lights don't work, so I would just get another, uh, set of lights for these, I got purple, um, 
but it's a vase. So I took, I took this, it was like a clear or whatever, and I just painted it black. Um, and then I just made this like beautiful bouquet with like spiders. Of course the spiders were more spaced out back then. Um, yeah but isn't that cool i think i even did i do that did i take the i don't know i guess it just worked out but um i love these purple flowers and th this is everything everything i got for this is at the dollar store uh probably including the lights except for this i already had this um but each keep in mind like each flower is a dollar oh I didn't think about that that was probably a stupid move <laughs> or maybe the no I think they came in bunches but still I probably could have gotten cheaper off of Amazon but when it comes to sorry decorations like I want to be able to see them and touch them and hold them you know because uh, I'm very passionate about decorations holiday decorations okay <gasps> found the duck okay so moving on um okay we have purple oh isn't this gorgeous oh my goodness yeah i'll take this right now bothers my neck maybe could wrap it around my witch's hat. How's that? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is a Target find and Oh, these things. They didn't have very cute ones this year. Um, I remember them being very ugly, but I still may go back after Halloween to see if they have them. Can't remember what they were, but I didn't like them. But um, I mean, hello. Uh, I'm sure everybody has seen these. Target's the only place I can find them. Um, this is like a, like a foam, hard foam ball. Um, the feet seem to be wire, but it's a very, very, like I can't bend it. It's very strong. Wrapped in um, orange, looks like felt, like little strips of felt. Uh, this is also felt, this little wings, pumpkin shirt, this little face is, uh, this is like felted, like what I made with the spiders, but way more sophisticated. Yeah, this is uh, felting. And a little hat, I mean, how cute. He's a pumpkin, hi. Anyway, so um, those birds, I collect every, um, uh, Christmas too. They're Chris the same birds, but in Christmas attire. I get those every year. Uh oh. Ah, darn it. I'm trying to get the tag off of this thing. Oh well. Um, this was at Dollar Store. How cute is that? Okay, the spider has something written on him. I never noticed that before. It says spells. Um, spells. Ah, like a scream. Boo, spooky. Ghouls. I don't know what that is. Halloween, um, beware, all, all that stuff. So, very cute. The spiders that look like they have white, those are the ones with words. 
and it's just like a little Halloween scarf so if you don't have a whole like costume or whatever you can still be Halloweeny by wearing a scarf um oh, another bird I always get a pair I get one for me and one for Kelly if I could afford if I had the money for all the birds to represent every one of my family I would but they also don't make enough different birds to warrant that anyway oh god you know when you've been sitting on your booty for a long time and then you move and it actually hurts more hold on I'm gonna pay for this dearly my body's not gonna forgive me for this okay hi this is her this is mr. pumpkin's wife isn't she cute when I got her Kelly was like oh well that's appropriate mm -hmm. that's okay I'm a good witch isn't she cute? Same. Uh, she's made the same way. Uh, black and white. She has a little broom here that she's holding in her uh, wing. And isn't that cute? Little individual pieces of felt. And then a little stick. Um, her cape has a little tie here. And then a cute little orange witch's hat with like the kind of the pilgrim topper here so cute okay um this is something oh this is okay so on this credenza that i mentioned earlier i would have those two vases um it's and it's very long so this is where i put like more of my ghoulish kind of uh decorations maybe the more elegant kind of dark like something you'd find in a vampire's mansion or something um, I put all that kind of stuff across I like to have themes and I like to have different themes so different parts of my house will have a different theme whimsical or like if I put everything on the bookshelf well actually the bookshelf is something else entirely which I will tell you about when I show you start start showing you my favorites um, okay so I have another bowl that came with my boo bowl I don't know where it is now there it is oopsie sorry okay I think what I'm going to do is take this to an hour and a half so it's at 113 now I'm gonna take it to an hour and a half and then I will post a part two so this will be Halloween decoration unboxing part one Halloween decoration unboxing part two um, I got this bowl as well at the Target thing and it says trick-or-treat how cute is this for three bucks for three dollars I mean that is that's freaking cute and these are um glass or ceramic so you know and if I had a job to put this on my desk that would be great I am manifesting a job I'm trying my hardest manifest a job but again as you know um, finding the right job is making this harder for for me anyway um, okay this needs a little fixing and gluing a little repair but we'll take care of it but this is another target special the poofies kind of become unpoofed but I will fix that later but look at that isn't that cute this was uh, on my whimsical um, table it's got a very it's like a cat face kind of like big smile like the Cheshire cat 
uh, polka dot paper decoupaged on his little hat. Um, and then he's got like a paper ruffle neck or whatever. And then this is just, I think this is painted foam. Um, and this is like, I guess his little clown outfit that he's wearing or whatever. But I put this with like my purple pumpkins, my swirly pumpkins, my polka dot pumpkins. These and the proper lights and everything were all put on the same table. Um, oh, this was fun. Okay, hold on. Well, okay, let's see what we can do. This is already come undone here. Oh, hold on. I'm losing balls. I lost a lot. But anyway, I have more little ornaments that go, oh no, is this, well I have a, a broken, so this needs some repairs, but that's okay, easily done. Um, I found these cute little ornaments at, um, Hobby Lobby and they're different so this is like a satin finish which is lovely at Christmas time I don't know if like that frosted satiny finish just makes me think of snow and ugh. I just love the fall and winter or fall and December's Christmas season I don't r really care for uh, winter but I'd rather be cool than hot um, Isn't that cute? I think I got this tree at the dollar store. Um, it'd be cuter if it was all, like, it had all of its balls. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, and then I would, like, kind of separate them out. And so, like, right here where there's two, well, actually, yeah, like, right here where there's two shiny ones, I'd probably put a glittery one here just to make it. You know, oh, I think I was showing you the back. This is the front. Uh, but see, this needs to be glued because it broke. But I mean, this was not bad. I had to, you know, I I threw this together because the, the the ornaments I got at Hobby Lobby. This I got at the Dollar Tree. It's just plastic uh, with like um, it's kind of like one of those balloon weights. Uh, and then it's wrapped in like a black burlap so um the way i usually um pack these up for like oops safekeeping um hold up i lost some ornaments okay um, I have no idea what to do with these or how to do this. Okay, so the way that I do this is I just try to keep, I keep everything on there as well as I can and I just put a sack over it. That way you're not having to take the ornaments off. Um... And on again because that's a pain in the butt. But I wrap it around, you know, tightly. Hold on. If I don't, don't do it now, we'll never get it done. Tie it up. 
tight. Hello? How, how do I do this? Okay, here we go. Wrap it around and tie it up. Okay. Now I've got these little ornaments. I don't know what to do with them. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Another time, another time. Okay. Um, okay, so it's 120. Uh, this is something else I would put um, in my more ele elegant, like vampire table. Um, isn't that cool? I don't know where I found this. I think it was a glow in the dark skull. Um, I would have to touch this up with some black paint. I think there's another spot. Maybe that's it. Oh, right here. Um, but I would just touch it up with, I wonder though, like, I think if I were to repaint this, uh, oh, I spray painted it. I spray painted it. That's why it's, but they probably have matte spray paint because I think I would do matte. I don't know though. It's kind of cool that it's shiny. And then I just put like the, the white batting, like this is supposed to be, this looks like it's like a day of the dead skull because it's got all those real pretty designs. Uh, but I absolutely do not have the talent to paint this the proper way. So I just made them all black, but I thought that looked cool. So, there's that. Okay, this is getting into some of the things that I don't want to show until tomorrow or till my second video. I am so excited about these, y'all. I can't wait for you to see them. Basically, the whole reason I wanted to do this was to show you these. But then I was like, well, I might as well show you all of my decorations, you know. Um... Anyway, Hel I'm, I'm unwrapping this. Uh, Hellstrom's, um, the Hellstrom's, uh, the brother and sister end up, um, San Francisco, that's where she lives. She lives in San Francisco, and I, I think he might live in Oregon, because um, every now and then, like, I can see the smoke or whatever coming out of their mouths when they talk if they're outside um anyway they get back together begrudgingly like they're not they don't really get along um and because they want to try to save their mom they think that maybe their dad has been reincarnated and is killing people um so there's that uh and i think there's several seasons of it but i'm only on um Sorry, Ow. I'm only on season one, um, and like halfway through. But I think it's it, it it's good. It's you know worth a watch, um, and I don't think they go because oh also during this time that they're trying to save their mom from her demon possession and find out if their dad has been uh, reincarnated. Um, something has come back right because they've already messed with it so I know that something has come back We're, I'm just not sure what it is um, and neither are they but um, they also well I, really the brother he is working with this nun who's very absolutely gorgeous of course they don't know her name or his or anybody else's and I'm sticky again I don't know. Okay. Anyway. Um, so what was I saying? I got distracted by the sticky. What? Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, oh, okay. He and the nun also do exorcisms 
like the Catholic Church has a whole list of people that are writing in asking for help asking for exorcisms and this team is comprised of wait is that it oh my god I think I've just blended two different shows I think the show I was just talking about a minute ago like where they take uh, their blended specialties and there's a team and there's a a list by the Catholic Church yeah that's another show that I watch I'm trying to watch like scary stuff because basically what I happened because of my trauma and all the anxiety that I had I decided I needed to go on a negativity diet so I stopped listening to murder podcasts um, and, um, but, uh, and then of course, and then I did the same with like shows, like I still like to watch a thriller. I just don't want to see gore, especially things that involve torture, that kind of stuff. I'm sorry. I should have done tr a trigger warning just using that word because seeing that kind of stuff, uh, triggers me so I apologize that I did not um, give you fair warning um, <clears throat> but um, every Halloween I will allow myself to dip my toe in a little bit more like I still I'm not gonna watch movies like Saw or Hostel and I'm very careful about the movies that I choose but I will watch like The Haunting like maybe I'll watch The Haunting of Hill House again or maybe I'll watch Ratchet again and y'all we gotta talk about Ratchet but that's another movie I mean <laughs> that's another video okay so let me get to okay so that's that okay so I think this is gonna be a good stopping place I'll show you one last oh okay a couple last things um you could absolutely make this. I did not because it was only $3 at Trick or Treat. Y'all. I'm losing it. Okay. It was only 3 bucks at in the Target bin. But this I, is one of my favorite things. I mean, how cute. It says Trick or Treat. And then this is like... I can't... Okay, none of it makes sense, and I think it's designed that way, but it looks like newspaper print. Um, and then it's just got, like, all these glittery uh, bats and letters and stuff. But this is simply, like, kind of like a cardboard canvas kind of thing. So it's made so you can hang this on a wall. But I usually have this sitting on a table with uh, my other whimsical things. Um... But what you could do is, if you wanted to make this, it would be super easy, super fast. You just paint all of this black. You then get some uh, scrap paper or maybe roll newspaper, that, but that might be too delicate. I would use a, a what are those things? A scrapbook uh, cardstock. You just decoupage that, and if you don't know what decoupage is, we will talk about that in another video. Um, but you decoupage it onto this box, and then you can also, at the craft store, get these sticky letters. Um, if they don't already come glittered, that can also easily be rectified by using uh, decoupage and then sprinkling black glitter. So. But again, I didn't make this. I got it at Target for three bucks because I could probably make it ch cheaper because I already have all the um, supplies from other crafts. But time is worth money. And it's three dollars, dudes. Okay. That's what I was making working daycare at 16. All right. Three dollars an hour. That's not right. Working with kids, they want to pay you nothing. That's not right. Isn't this cute? So whimsical. 
This went in my whimsical section. I don't know why, but this reminded me of Alice in Wonderland, but I'm always dreaming of Alice in Wonderland. Um, that was the first uh, tarot deck I ever got was a, um, I think I had a dream about an Alice in Wonderland deck or something. And so I went to a, um, what is it called? It's like one of those stores where you, you can go and get stuff like that that's like tarot cards and stones and singing bowls and crystals and that kind of stuff. And um, I completely forgot why I was telling you that. Oh, and when I walked into the store and I asked her where the tarot cards were, she pointed me to them and the first one I saw was Alice in Wonderland and it was the only one there. So I felt like it was meant to be. But anyway, I think these are super cute. Little pillows and again, they go in your whimsical section um, or on a bed or on a chair. So I'll probably leave these out too, but I really, I'll just have to put it back in the bin for now. Um, okay, I think that's all I am gonna do for now. Um, because this video is really long. Um, but thank you so much uh, for joining me today. I have been waiting. I don't know why I waited so long. I wish I hadn't. But I was super excited about making this video. And I'm glad I finally did it. Because I love Halloween. I love Halloween decorations. And since I can't really put all of this up. Which uh, I wish I could. I wish I could. Um, at least getting to look at it, you know, and because I haven't seen it in a year, getting to just look at it and think about it and, and remembering those times. Like I, I can feel the cool air. I can feel and remember like back when I used to feel really good for some reason, I guess, because the last time I used to feel really good was like, um, like August um, and then I started declining in in the autumn but it wasn't as bad as it is now and um, I just remember like I don't know I think I always feel that way during autumn when it gets crispy outside crispy cool breezy windy and um, inside you've got candlelight and all these cute little decorations um, I don't know. I always just feel some type of way uh, during that time. So I'm excited that I can at least share this with you if I can't be surrounded by it all, you know. But I will put up a few things. Um, I, I have a little basket set aside. So, But I thank you so much for giving me um, a watch. I hope that it is worth a like. I hope you like this video. I hope that it, it inspires you to um, subscribe. And if not, then I I guarantee you, you will next time because I, I mean, you'll probably be, be like, okay, big deal. I've made 5,000 of those. But I, the things I'm going to show you tomorrow, I am so excited. And I, I'm I think it's because I made them myself, so I remember every little choice. And sometimes decisions are hard for me, even the little simplest ones. Um, but just thinking of the different things and then finding the different things, it's all part of the, of the fun. Sometimes it doesn't feel like fun. Hold on guys, sorry. Sometimes it doesn't feel like fun because um, you put a lot of work into it and uh, your back starts hurting or, and there's a mess everywhere, but it's so worth it. And I'm very glad that like sometime after I became, ooh, I hope that's not a spider. Uh, ee! Mm. What are you? Okay, never mind. Sorry. Um, 
sometime after I became an empty nester, I mean, sort of, like, my daughter still lives here, but she, I stopped having to, like, do the morning routine or the night routine. Like, I, suddenly I had all this free time, and I was working full time, but I had all this free time, and I, for whatever reason, went into this craft decoration type phase, and... I went nuts with the crafting, you guys, absolutely nuts. And I'm glad that I did because um, it's not something I can do anymore. And so now I don't have to buy any more decorations. I have them all. Uh, it doesn't mean I won't buy any more because that's how I am. I mean, they're decorations. If I come across something cute, it's going to jump in my cart. But, um, you know, going out and looking at those kinds of things now comes with a risk, unfortunately. So that's helped me uh, save money. And I have to be honest with you, this year Target didn't have much anyway. I went there for grocery shopping and I, I looked uh, in, in that area. I didn't find a thing, uh, which I was absolutely shocked by. I was shocked. So, um... Anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to put the things that I don't want to keep in a back in the box. Um, but I don't have to do that with you uh, um, here. It, we've gone over 1.30, so I'll wrap it up here. Um, but thank you so much for coming along with me on this um, Halloween unboxing. I'm going to do a part two tomorrow or later tonight when my body uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to lay like a log for a few minutes and rest but um thank you so much for uh yeah watching this video subscribing sharing um liking thumbs up i appreciate it um and i will see you soon happy halloween Oh, have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm.